Rarely does there come along a martial artist that puts his imprint on the direction the martial arts takes after he is gone. One such martial artist is Choshin Shibana. Born in Tori Bora, Chu, Okinawa, June 1885, he was born into a modest family and as a boy he worked in the fields to help support the family's income. He attended the Okinawa Prefectural Grammar School and in 1898 he met the requirements of the Okinawan Prefectural Daiichi Middle School. In 1900, he chose to leave middle school in pursuit of what would be a lifetime vocation, the martial arts. After two rejections by Okinawan Karate pioneer and father of Okinawan Karate, Anko Itosu, he was finally accepted as a student. He joined six or seven others who trained secretly with the master. Itosu was credited with the formation of the Pinan Katas. Other classmates of Chibana senseis included names like Ken Wamabuni, the founder of Shitoru Karate, Gishin Funakoshi, the father of Japanese Karate, Choni Oshiro, and Masaha Shiromo. His contemporaries included a who's who from the golden age of Karate in Okinawa. Names like Miyagi, Motobu, Kayan, and his classmates Mabuni and Funakoshi. Undoubtedly, Choshin Shibana was in the middle of pre-World War II Okinawan Karate. After his master's death, August the 30th, 1915, Shibana waited five years before deciding to open his first dojo, when he was 34 years of age. His own dojo, which was in Toribori, and shortly thereafter he opened a second dojo in Kumocho, Naha City. As his popularity grew, he opened several other dojos in Okinawa. When World War II broke out, he remained on the island, narrowly escaping death on numerous occasions when Shuri was destroyed by the Americans in 1945. After the war, he began to teach karate, his lifelong passion, in Jinocho, a section of Shuri, Okinawa. From February 1954 to December 1958, he was the chief Karate Do instructor for the Shuri Police Department. On May the 5th, 1956, he and several others formed the Okinawan Karate Do Federation and he was elected as its first president. Two years later, he was elected president of the Okinawan Shorinru Karate Do Association. Chibana Sensei's legend continued to grow and in 1957, the Daini Kai which had been disbanded at the end of World War II, had recently been reformed by Ono Kamau. Chibana Sensei was awarded a Hanchi, which is the highest rank anyone could have attained from the Daini Bombatoka Kai. Following this, in 1960, the Okinawan Times presented Hanchi Chibana with a special award for distinguished service in the area of physical culture. Then, in 1968, he brought even greater honor to Okinawan Karate as he was presented with the Order of the Sacred Treasurer by the Emperor of Japan, Hirohito. In the footage you will soon see, Chibana Sensei was shot in the mid-1960s by Taiju Li, to whom we owe a great deal, as this is the only known footage of this great master preserved in pristine condition. You will note that he made minor modification to Itoso's karate. Chibana's stances were very high, even by Shorinru standards. At no time, though, did any Shorinru stances come close to being as low as Shotokan stances. Chibana Sensei was a thinker and an innovator, somewhat, as he did not follow his master's teachings exactly. A couple examples would be that he preferred the Pasai version performed by Matsumura, that he'd learnt from Tawada Sensei. He also created the Kihon Katas for beginners used in Shorinru, that are used even through to the present day. In 1935, Chibana Sensei coined the name of Itosu's Karate as Shorin Ru Karate. These characters can also be pronounced as Kobayashi Ru. Translation, they mean small forest or pine forest. Master Chibana passed away October 26, 1969, at the age of 84. He left behind his footprints on the martial arts, and his positive changes will be remembered by all but by none more so than his many students who have gone on to propagate his Shorinru Karate. Some of his senior students included names like Yuchiko Higa, Shuguro Nakazato, 
Katsuya Miyahara, whom he appointed as his successor. We want to once again thank Mr. Taijo Lee, who shot this footage back in 1964, for allowing us to present this footage of Master Chibana performing many of his katas. Without Mr. Lee's significant contribution to the preservation of Okinawan Karate, this project would have never been made possible. For this, we want to thank him most sincerely from the bottom of our hearts. And now, I would like to introduce this historical footage of Master Choshin Jibana as he performs katas of Shoranru Karate Do. Oh, yeah. 